You know, we're excited to be flying our airplane out here to Oshkosh and, you know, it's like the big thing, right? You got to fly your own airplane to Oshkosh. And so we've been airborne for about, I don't know, an hour and a half, something like that. And we've got really great avionics in our airplane, so I don't run the Sentry all the time. But we had seen some weather kind of up ahead and I was like, you know what, I want to get the ADS-B pumped into my, uh, my iPad. And so I fired up my Sentry, put it up on the window, and within about three minutes, it starts squawking. I've got a bright red notification on my iPad that I've got like 200 parts per million of CO in the aircraft. Had no idea. Had, didn't smell anything, didn't feel funny, nothing like that. But that's like a pretty significant number. I'm like, there's no way, I don't smell anything. So I turned it off, recycled it, like let's make sure, right? And sure enough, it fires right back up and we get that CO warning. Um, so we open up all the vents like you're supposed to, and. The lowest that we could get the CO um, detection was down to about 130, 140 parts per million. And I think the FAA guidance is somewhere around 50. So we knew that we had some trouble going on. And, and, um, and so we got the airplane. Uh, we were about 30 miles from a major airport. So we turned around, went back to an airport, got it on the ground. Everybody was safe. Um, and uh, turns out we had just a massive exhaust leak. And uh, so we had, we basically had raw exhaust going into the cabin of the aircraft. And the, the reality of this is, is had I not fired that sentry up, I would have had no idea. You know, they talk about the CO thing being the silent killer and we hear that all the time, but it really was the silent killer. If I hadn't turned it on, I'm convinced I would have been asleep over South Dakota somewhere. I wouldn't have felt anything, but it wouldn't have ended well. And, and so I'm just, I'm grateful for you guys to give me the opportunity to share this story. Um, you know, when you talk about all of this stuff and all of the, the technology that's available to us, um, I can tell you right now, I'll never fly without my Sentry on in the cockpit uh, just, just for the CO thing. You know, I obviously you get all the ADS-B and all the other stuff that are good. I never really thought that the CO detector was going to be the major part of a Sentry that I loved. I think that as a pilot, there, you have so many decisions that you're making every day. Are you going to go? Are you not going to go? Are you going to continue to go? Or are you not going to continue to go? And sometimes you, you have all of this information at your, at, at your fingertips, but it, it's this seat of the pants feeling that you get. And I think what is most concerning with me about this whole incident with carbon monoxide is that there's no seat of the pants. I didn't know. I, I didn't know anything was wrong until this thing started beeping. And, and then it allowed me, because I had technology in the aircraft with me, um, and I had you know, the ForeFlight app that's given me the, the feedback about it, it allowed me to make good decisions in that moment that ultimately, and I, I know it, it kind of sounds like hyperbole, but I, I mean, I made a life-saving decision. Like I had two people, two lives that are really important. And, uh, and because of this product, I, I was able to make the right decision at the right time in time to get us on the ground safely. Thank you for making a great product. It, there's no question, it saved my life.